Hello everybody, this is David with another Verilog video. This time I'm going to cover switch level modeling. Now, you may know or may not know about Verilog, but there are different levels of abstraction and circuitry that you can design on or model. You know, you have the top, which we usually use all the time, the RTL, register transfer level. Then you have gate level modeling, and then you have switch level modeling, which is actually modeling the switches that make up the logic gate. And these are the keywords, the Verilog keywords, CMOS, NMOS, PMOS, supply one and supply zero for uh, the simpler stuff in switch level modeling. There's a lot of more other stuff, but I'll just cover the simple stuff. So I'll explain all that, um, go over the Verilog code for it, uh, Vivado simulation and an FPGA implementation. I'll talk about that. All right, so to think of NMOS, PMOS and CMOS, right? PMOS stands for complementary metal oxide semiconductor. And you and it's made up of two different. So you you have the PMOS and the NMOS. And you can think of the PMOS like a PMP transistor. It's turned on with a zero. And an NMOS is like an NPN transistor. It's turned on with a one. So it acts like the switch in your house, right? You flip the switch up. You consider that a logic one, the light comes on. That's in, like an NMOS. Logic one allows power to come through the transistor and you can drive an output for a light on. And the PMOS works in the exact opposite way. Logic zero turns the light on. And then this is a very log code up here for the supply. And so when you're using these switches, you have to give it a driver. So you're driving Supply one is uh, a logic high and supply zero is logic low. So we give logic high to power and logic low to ground. Um, so here's how you instantiate them <clears throat> in Verilog. So here's the NMOS up here. This is what they, they call it, uh, data in, control in, and then out. And it's just like any, Verilog, any other Verilog primitive, like your logic gates. Um, you have the output here and then your inputs. Same thing, here's the PMOS down here, output the inputs. And then the CMOS just has one more control because it has both. So you have the output, an input, and then an end control and a P control. And as with all Verilog um, primitives, you can use an instance name in here where the blue is, but it's optional. And here's some switch level logic gates. This is a representation in, in CMOS using one PMOS and one NMOS. Here's a NOT gate. We have two PMOS in parallel, two NMOS in series, making a NAND gate. We have two NMOS in parallel this time and two PMOS in series, making a NAND gate. And that's what I'm gonna go over in the Verilog code. Um, so the last one we look at just had NMOS and, T and PMOS. Here's something you can do with the CMOS. There's one CMOS right here and here's another CMOS right here. And this is a, a two to one multiplexer. You might recognize this block diagram down here. This is how all the logic gates are laid out for it. And this is how it's done in switch. And I got uh, two examples over here. This is the actual code for this circuitry in switch. Um, and this is the RTL level code for a multiplexer. Very uh, much simpler to use RTL. And that's why the switch isn't used so much. It's not really used much at all. Um, here is another thing you can do. I got it, you can do a D flip flop. There's no reset on this one, or clear, just a simple D flip flop. But here's the switch level uh, circuitry um, code for it. And then here's the RTL code. RTL code, once again, much simpler. Now, here's the answer implementing on the FPGA. We cannot. Um, I actually created a constraints file and tried to synthesize it and then I got an error. And then I went and looked into uh, UG901, which is user guide 901 from Xilinx. It's their synthesis manual for Vivado. And right here under uh, the Verilog primitive section, it says Vivado synthesis does not support Verilog switch level primitive. So, all, and these are the all, so here's our CMOS, NMOS, PMOS. These are all the other ones I was talking about. These are resistive uh, controlled ones. The trans are bi-directional ones. 
Um, so it's not synthesized. Um, so here's the code that I came up with for all those gates we just saw a little bit ago. So I got the, the NAND gate right here, the NOR gate right here, and the NOT gate right here. And that's each one of these and all the signals are labeled. And this is what I'm going to simulate. So let me take you over to the code. All right, here's the code you just saw um, for those gates, NAND, NOR, and NOT. Here's the uh, test bench simulation file to create a register for all the inputs, wires for all the outputs, tie them all into the device under test. We go through our script down here, an initial block. So just like you would test any other logic gates, you know, you want to cycle through all the possible inputs from 0, 0 to 1, 1. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm setting them all to 0 and doing 0, 1 for the NAND and the NOR. I'm leaving the not for another clock cycle, I'll change it down here. Then I'm doing one zero, one zero for the NAND and NOR, switching the not over to one, and then doing all ones for the NAND and NOR, and then finishing out. And then here's the simulation. So up here in green, we have the NAND gate. Here in the middle is the NOR, and down here in the pink is the NOT gate. So just like a truth table for a NAND gate, should exhibit right um we have the inputs both off zero zero we get a one it's the opposite of an and right so and is zero 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 one nand would be one 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 zero and that's what we have nor is the opposite of a or so or is when they're both off you get nothing anything else you would get a one and nor is the opposite of that so one zero 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 and then you can see the not gate so right here we have e when it's low z is high and when e is high z is low so there you, I'll take you back to the code so you can check it out. There it is. Um, so now you know about the Verilog switch level primitives. And now we know about them. We really don't need to use them. We can stick to RTL and even some gate level modeling. But now we know about it. So um, hopefully you learned something. I know I did uh, finding this stuff out. Thanks for watching.